One of this year's Paul A. Funk Recognition Award nominees has the distinction of being responsible for the success of a major crop in central Illinois and elsewhere. Dr. Muhammad Babadu's work on diseases that threaten the pumpkin harvest have far-reaching economic implications in the specialty crop industry. Muhammad joined the Department of Crop Sciences faculty in 1999 as the state extension pathologist in fruits and vegetables. One nominator wrote, during his tenure at the university, I have observed him develop into one of the most outstanding horticultural food crops pathologists nationally and internationally. He has distinguished himself as the authority on disease management of cucurbits, particularly pumpkin, which is the largest horticulture crop in Illinois. His applied research is estimated to save farmers millions of dollars a year, and he has generated significant financial support for his research. Muhammad has written over 580 publications, including a book, journal articles, newsletters, fact sheets, and more. And he was instrumental in organizing the Illinois Pumpkin Growers Association. When disease threatened a pumpkin shortage in 2016, Muhammad was well sought after by media from around the country. His efforts are not limited to pumpkins and other fruits and vegetables. Muhammad's outreach to the Amish growers here in central Illinois and small farmers throughout the developing world have been very successful in helping them expand their economic base. He has assisted in making sure that plant pathologists in resource-poor countries have access to the books, journals, and reference materials necessary to advance their work. He is committed to sharing his work and that of colleagues to assist in creating a more stable worldwide food supply. For his research, outreach, and commitment to his field, we honor Dr. Mohamed Babadoust with a Paul A. Funk Recognition Award. A multifaceted researcher who makes time to improve graduate education, Dr. John Juvik is honored with a Paul A. Funk Recognition Award. A valued member of the ACES faculty for 35 years, Jack has worked tirelessly for the last 20 years to improve graduate programs in the Department of Horticulture, Natural Resources and Environmental Sciences, and Crop Sciences. His efforts have made a substantial difference in the quantity and quality of students attracted to crop sciences and the operational efficiency of its graduate program. Over the course of his 35 years on the faculty, he has served as a major advisor to 38 MS and PhD students. Many of these are now faculty at universities in the United States and abroad. Jack was a founding member of the Illinois Plant Breeding Center and has led that operation since 2012. His relationship with industry and other donors have resulted in support for 18 MS and PhD students on IPBC fellowships in plant breeding. In the lab, Jack has been successful in securing over $11 million in support on 53 different grant proposals. His research on the breeding and genetics of tomatoes, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, miscanthus, and especially sweet corn reaches from the table to the industry. In the words of a nominator, Dr. Juvik's contributions to the Department of Crop Sciences and to the horticultural industries have been substantial and valuable. A Paul A. Funk Recognition Award is presented to Dr. John Juvik. Dr. Su Yun Lee is described as an enthusiastic, innovative, and dedicated teacher and is being honored with the Paul A. Funk Recognition Award. Dr. Lee has been a member of the Department of Food Science and Human Nutrition since 2001. She is one of a select few sensory scientists in the Academy. Her research on the identification of issues in soy products, the development of a dictionary of terms to describe the sensory of soy, and the development of a high-protein energy bar for refugees all support the formulation and acceptance of healthier soy foods. Her research has positively impacted commodity groups such as the soy industry, and her work is an advantage for students in her classes as they prepare for their careers. Dr. Lee has also been a part of a long-term collaboration on research into picky eating by children. While the initial hypothesis was that sensory perception was a contributing factor in picky eating, the research shows that parenting styles and feeding approaches were also major influences. Dr. Lee is a respected leader not only on campus, but also in the food science community, including professional organizations, industry, and government agencies. At the campus level, she served on the Academic Senate, 
Office of Undergraduate Research Advisory Board, and more. Within ACES, she was a faculty fellow in the Teaching Academy and is in her seventh year serving in the Academy of Teaching Excellence. In the words of a nominator, Illinois is fortunate to have an outstanding sensory scientist on the faculty who is positively impacting the food science and technology community. Dr. Suyun Lee, honored with the Paul A. Funk Recognition Award. Dr. Brett McBride has established a distinctive niche in the field of early childhood development. He's honored with a Paul A. Funk Recognition Award. The director of the Early Child and Child Development Laboratories in the ACES Department of Human Development and Family Studies, Brent has devoted considerable attention to childhood obesity and health, fatherhood, and family involvement in early childhood programs. One nominator wrote, Although other scholars also explore these topics, Dr. McBride goes beyond their more traditional approaches to include implications for practitioners in the field. Too often, researchers leave such applications for others to devise. In the true spirit of the land-grant mission, Dr. McBride has served as a linking agent between theory and practice, between the academy and the community. Brent is responsible for developing the ECDL and CDL into flagship programs recognized across the nation. Since the quality of early care has been linked with early learning outcomes, social competencies, brain development, and the success of transitioning to kindergarten, many economists recognize that the single best investment we can make for today's youth is providing quality care and education, exactly Brent's passion. For positively impacting our university community, and more importantly, the children and families who benefit from his research, teaching, and service, we honor Dr. Brett McBride with a Paul A. Funk Recognition Award. <laughs>